Want to learn about stocks, cryptocurrencies, NFTs, and the metaverse? Join richtv.io. Welcome to another exciting episode of our YouTube podcast, where we dive into the world of business and innovation. Thank you for joining us today, Dr. Carolyn Myers of Fendex Technologies, Inc. How are you doing today, Carolyn? Great. Thank you. Great to be here. Great to have you on the show. It's an honor to have you here. And to kick off this interview, could you please share with us a brief overview of your journey and how you reached this position of CEO? Sure. Sure. Um, my my background is pretty much uh, the pharmaceutical industry. I've held very senior level positions in uh, large cap pharmaceutical companies in the United States. And I've been the president of two different pharmaceutical organizations. And uh, the one that was revenue generating grew EBITDA over 25% year over year as the president uh, without affecting bo- uh, the OPEX. So it was total top line. Um, I've been consulting for the last few years, and uh, I like consulting with small companies, and that's how I came across the technology that ultimately we created a company around Fendex and and licensed the technology. And so it was only natural that I became the CEO, especially with my very, very strong commercial and licensing and general management background to take this on and lead it to success. Congratulations on all your success so far. And what is the underlying technology behind the nanotechnology film? And for people who don't know exactly what nanotechnology is, can you give us a brief breakdown? Well, let me start with what is nanotechnology. It's one of those really exciting words that everybody hears about and it's like, what does it actually do? Um, Well, nanotechnology are materials, uh, particles, surfaces, whatever, that are really, really, really small. They're like a thousand times smaller than microscopic particles. And to the human eye, they're a billion times smaller. So you can't see them. Uh, The only way you can see them is with an electron microscope. Um, And it's because bacteria and viruses live at the nanoscale that we decided we needed nanotechnology to do what we wanted to do in terms of reduce the transmission of bacteria and viruses uh, within uh, hospitals and other industries. What we have developed is a very, very uh, unique uh, uh, film as well as spray coating, and and it's through McMaster University, which essentially repels. And what I mean by that is it does, things cannot adhere to it. So bacteria can adhere and, and, and divide, viruses can adhere and divide, liquids and blood can even adhere to it. They essentially roll off the surface. And it's because of these properties, because nothing can stick to it, essentially nothing can be transmitted, especially potentially lethal pathogens like bacteria and viruses. Who are the competitors in this space and how does the film differentiate itself from existing solutions? Well, as I said, we repel and I said it's it's very unique because there are no other films that are on the market that actually repel. They actually have metal ions or other other types of uh, materials in them that bacteria or viruses have to actually stick to their surface. They have to replicate in order to be killed. And so there still is that potential short period of time when they can still be transmitted. Ours repels and it's instant and, and, and the transfer is like almost 0%. It's more than 99% reduced. Wow, that's impressive. And Dr. Myers, can you tell us what is the business model for developing the film and how does Fendex plan to monetize the technology? So um, we our, our first product or our lead product is called Repel Route Film. And uh, essentially it was developed at McMaster University and we're still in development with regard to that product, but it's now with our manufacturer who is a globally recognized uh, uh, film manufacturer. And we just announced yesterday that, um, that they have been able to get through the first phase of assessing and adapting the McMaster formulation to their manufacturing processes, which is a huge milestone for us. 
And what this means is the next step is that they can they can now test it in small runs on their commercial manufacturing and essentially automate the production of the film. If it's successful, then we'll move into uh, commercial manufacturing and ultimately commercialize the product. And we're hoping and anticipating that it may be uh, in, in mid 2024. Wow. So that's where we are. And, and as it relates to the model, we're being very fiscally responsible. Uh, we're looking for third parties to, to distribute this product for us. And the whole reason for that is we we want to use the, the the capital that we have to continue to develop products and bring them to market, as opposed to bringing on a sales force and all of the other sales and marketing activities that are required to be able to sell these products. Our plan is to go to Canada first, and then you know down the road we'll also go to the U.S., which you know is a huge market, and ultimately to uh, other other countries and. I, I think we all know that Asia is potentially an interesting opportunity with regard to trying to prevent transmission of bacteria and viruses. Well, congratulations on achieving your milestone. And I'm looking forward to more milestones being achieved, like you mentioned, commercialization. What are the manufacturing capabilities and scalability of the film? And can it be produced at a large scale to meet market demands? Well, as I, I mentioned, our repel wrap film is with our manufacturer. The next step is to uh, conduct small runs on their commercial lines, which means that they have been able to adapt the formula to their lines. Now it's a question of taking it to their commercial lines and, and confirming that it can, it can be produced uh, on an automated system. We'll test those films to make sure they have the same repelling properties, durability, stability, et cetera. And if they do, then we, we believe, and we're successful, we do believe that the next step will be able to, will be able to uh, produce commercial films. That, that's, that's, that's where we are. Do we know for certain? No, but uh, you know, we're, we're, we're on our way. <laughs> that's fantastic. And what are the key milestones or catalysts that investors should be looking out for in the coming months and years and are there any specific events or developments that could significantly impact the company's value or prospects? So, uh, you know, as I mentioned, Repel Rep is our lead product. And, you know, we, as we say, we've, we've met some really important milestones. And, you know, if we're successful through this next phase of, you know, conducting small scale uh, uh, commercial production, then you know that's going to lead us to uh, and we're a, a commercial product and potentially a launch in in 2024. So we're pretty excited about that. But we also have a pipeline. We have we have um, uh, line extensions of Repel Wrap film that you know uh, we're looking at sustainability. I mean it's the future, right? Everybody wants things that are that are more sustainable. So you know we're gonna we're we're on that trend and we're gonna we're gonna continue to. Uh, to look at that in terms of potential opportunities to, to be more sustainable. And we just licensed a, a spray formulation um, that not only repels, it's been also shown to kill any residual uh, bacteria or viruses. We believe that th this will have even broader applications than, than our film um, beyond healthcare and you know, other industries which uh, have high touch, high traffic areas. So we're we're excited about that as we venture forward and and do research with McMaster on that. And then lastly, we're actually in, in, in going to be starting very soon coating catheters. And I don't know if you know the problems with catheters. You know, bacteria will stick to catheters and they form the colonies which clot the catheter or blood they blood clots that clot the catheter. What McMaster has shown. Um, early on in a very early study, I should say, is that bacteria and blood do not stick to the surfaces of these coated catheters. And as a consequence, there's no biofilm or colony formation or blood clotting. So we're pretty excited about this. It's very early, but we're planning to continue to uh, research that. Well, super excited to see you guys grow and see you achieve your milestones. Very excited to have Dr. Carolyn Myers here, the CEO of Fendex Technologies, Inc. 
I want to bring the symbol to your, your focus here and put on your radar and put on your watch list. The symbol in Canada, FNDX. The symbol in America, FDXTF. And I must remind you that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research when looking at interviews and company overviews and anything we talk about here on Rich TV Live. And thank you for joining us today, Carolyn. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. It's fun. It's always a pleasure. And for those of you guys that are watching, if you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring you the winners, CO interviews, chart analysis, breaking news, and we bring it to you first. Hope you enjoyed this episode of the Rich TV Live podcast. Hope you have a great day and we'll see you soon. Thank you.